With Tesla's new electric semi, Elon Musk plans to alter the trucking sector completely. The Tesla Semi electric truck is finally in early production five years after Tesla first introduced this idea to change the freight and logistics sector. The Tesla CEO just said they will produce 50,000 of these in 2024 and are prepared to scale production over the following 12 months. But where will Tesla build these enormous cars? Join us as we explore Tesla's brand new Giga Factory for Semi trucks. Modern society depends heavily on trucks. They move components from factories to assembly facilities, finished goods to sales locations, and raw materials from mines to factories. As a result, a truck driver has moved almost every physical item in your home. Since the creation of the first semi in 1898, they have played a significant role in our economy and way of life. But there are problems with the sector. Trucks must be sturdy and powerful, which is why fossil fuels have fueled them for many years. As a result, the trucking business is one of the sectors with the highest carbon emissions. Due to the long driving hours and low compensation, there is also a global scarcity of drivers. Additionally, there are tight limitations on how long a driver can work before taking a break. These factors led Elon Musk to conclude that this sector might be ready for disruption. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, stated, tentatively aiming for 50,000 units in 2024 for there's a semi in North America and works man outside North America. During the conference call that followed the release of Tesla's Q3 2022 financial results, this figure considerably exceeds what anyone previously believed Tesla was capable of. Tesla would have capacity at their Giga Nevada for five each week, or about 250 per year. According to a prior report from electric company, the Tesla Semi reportedly acquired a certification of conformity from Tesla on September 29, indicating that it satisfies all EPA emissions and fuel efficiency regulations. Excited to announce the start of manufacture of Tesla semi truck with deliveries to at Pepsi on December 1st, Elon tweeted in response, Four electric motors, one at each wheel, power the vehicle. It states that the driver train will last a million miles and that each wheel's independent suspension will automatically adjust to the terrain. They can see more of the road because the driver's position is raised. On two screens, a system of external cameras will stream live video of the surroundings. Since the driver is seated directly in the middle of the cabin, they have the best vision of the truck. And the semi is one of the most aerodynamic vehicles of its size. The truck can easily cut through the air thanks to its flat floor and side flaps that automatically adjust to the height of the trailer. This is crucial to get the most driving distance feasible out of the battery, as the higher the wind resistance, the more energy is needed to move and the shorter the range that can be employed. If you look at the data, the CMI's drag coefficient is 0.38 CD, significantly less than that of other diesel vehicles, which ranges from 0.65 to 0.7 CD. A lower value indicates improved aerodynamic performance of the vehicle. Regenerative braking, which recycles energy lost when slowing down to the top of the battery and extend range, is a characteristic of the Tesla Semi truck. Tesla contends that the brake pads themselves won't ever need to be replaced because the technology is so efficient. The range of the Tesla truck is expected to be 500 kilometers. Since there is uncertainty in this area, Elon Musk quickly highlighted some crucial details on a call. No cargo capacity sacrifice 500 mile range. He was sure to mention that going up an incline would lower the truck's range. Just to be clear, 500 miles with the freight on level ground. However, because of their regenerative braking systems, EVS can recover energy when traveling downward. Musk has suggested a range of 1,000 kilometers or 620 miles nevertheless. Tesla has created an autonomous tire inflation system for the semi to extend the battery's capacity. Having properly inflated tires are crucial for more reasons than safety. 
However, the North American Council for Freight Efficiency claims that it can potentially impact fuel economy and worsen tire wear. Commercial vehicles with tires underinflated by 10 PSI typically have a 0.5 to 1% increase in fuel consumption. Therefore, keeping tire pressure will not only help keep trucks from breaking down, but also save money and increase range. Recharging is one of the main topics of discussion regarding the Tesla Semi. After all, time is money. And if a driver has to wait hours for the gigawatt hour battery that the Tesla Semi requires to recharge, it will be a complete waste of time. You can rely on Tesla to innovate its way out of a situation though. The Mega Charger is the solution. In as little as 30 minutes, a Mega Charger may provide an 80% charge. The motorists can travel 400 miles with this boost. These charges are anticipated to be several times faster than the most recent V3 Tesla superchargers, which can charge cars like the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y at up to 250 kilowatts. However, complete specifics have not yet been disclosed. These massive chargers have already been set up at the PepsiCo factory for the December 1st delivery of Tesla Semis. The Semi is classified as a Class A truck since it can carry up to 80,000 pounds of payload or 36 tons in weight. The Semi will also gain from a discount given to electric trucks that are fully loaded. To account for the additional battery weight, the US permits electric trucks to weigh up to 2,000 pounds more than their diesel-powered counterparts. If you have watched up until this point, thank you very much. Please think about subscribing for more videos regarding technology, like the Ford Tesla and the most recent auto news. One odd fact is that Tesla estimates that drivers will save over $200,000 by not filling up at the pump, even though the truck obviously doesn't need diesel, so the semi truck will quickly earn back its cost. The semi will be built by Tesla in Giga, Texas. That factory is one of the biggest structures on Earth, measuring as much as three pentagons or almost 15 city blocks. It is currently where the Model Y is made, and in the future, it will also be where the Tesla Semi and Tesla Cybertrucks are constructed. In addition, Cybertruck chassis have reportedly been sighted recently all over the plant. This suggests that the new 9,000-ton clamping force Giga Press, specially made for the Cybertruck, is beginning to be calibrated. On September 28, the Giga Press, weighing 117,995 pounds, arrived in the United States from Italy. Each vehicle will be built much faster thanks to this innovation, increasing consistency and quality. One of the most cutting-edge paint shops in the world is located inside a plant. The all-aluminum bodywork of both cars will be coated with this, as most people anticipated. The Tesla Semi would have the company's improved autopilot function. This enables the vehicle to steer independently, maintain its lane, and autonomously brake in an emergency. It also has a system for alerting drivers when they are about to leave their lane. Additionally, they will have jackknife prevention technology. When a big truck starts skidding, it's called jackknifing and it occurs when the trailer attached to the tractor or cabin swings and folds around frequently in front of the tractor, resembling a half-open jackknife. This is risky. The Tesla Semi sensors, according to Tesla, immediately begin to offset any instability by providing torque to each wheel and turning on each set of regenerative brakes as needed. Since it was taken off the Tesla website, the cost of the Tesla Semi has been somewhat of a mystery. However, the long-range model's starting price was $180,000 in 2017. Musk has also stated that he expects a freight customer to save $100,000 annually on fuel expenditures. The truck will pay for itself in under two years if this proves true. And that's it. What are your thoughts on the Tesla truck? If you believe this to be the end of diesel power trucking, let us know in the comments. Again, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, 
comment, share, and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos like this. Before you leave, did you know that the all-new Polestar 3 is better than the Tesla Model Y? Well, to understand why too, make sure to click and watch this video here. See you there!